it's you. Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Handy resource indeed, your I'm most pleased to be included. Away, High Wing! Away!
would be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. That ought to... Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I... thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry... I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologised when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Revelio. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Incident. Cruiser. 
Saved from that troll. You can't imagine. I hope you avoided my troll. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Whisperer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. I see you. For as snooty as up a hole. Incendio. Confringo. Descendo. Cruise. Incendio. Let 
The beasts are safer now. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Alohomora. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. And they are back near the crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Huh. <laughs> 
wizard kind will submit to us once the war is over. Curse. That was made for me. Okay, we One less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. place. Hello there. Do you have a special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinf- Here. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. Name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Hey, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. That's 
shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. Revelio. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your...
here in my office before taking it out into the world. Glaciers! There you go! Get on them quickly! Glaciers! I think it's learned its lesson. But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Yeah. 